Hello, this is Dmitry Sestakov and this is video on how to make your reference inside your Maya uh, and, and so on. So if you, like me, unlucky guy who has just one screen, it's very hard to share your work with another uh, open window, window and try to work it with. So this is my video on how to integrate this one inside your Maya and that way you can work it with this and uh, have no trouble with also uh, it has a little slider which can allow you to move it forward like for example in some of the places I have uh, different timing and in order to make them right I just had to slide this slider and then I was going with it and so the original was uh, zero so that way this stands together and then the rest okay so the first thing we have to do it, it works only on the Mac, I don't know how to do these things in Windows I mean there's some ways but I'm not going to discuss those so you need to open your reference video in uh, uh, QuickTime Player 7 uh, and uh, export or uh, Apple E then you have to choose uh, uh, movie to image sequence uh, make a new folder for that because otherwise you're gonna have a bunch of them we don't need so let's new sequence okay uh, create now we got that folder options go to options so choose JPEG because that's smaller and much easier to work with in Maya uh, frame per second 24 since you have 24 slider uh, uh, this gonna be on but you need to turn it off that's the w best way for Maya to recognize those files and uh, that's it press OK and press save and you get all those now it's exporting mm, so that's that's how it's gonna look you got a bunch of images as a sequence and uh, okay here yeah. we might gonna have a problem we had the problem with a uh, previous version of Maya where you see there's a like four three zeros and one so it's four digits and Maya could recognize only three digits let's try if it's gonna work on this one but in previous versions it didn't work so this reference I had it had less than a thousand of uh, frames in it so make sure you have less than a thousand frames uh, just calculate how many seconds is that but let's see maybe it can work now with more than thousand uh, so I create a polyplane let me make it bigger I change it to one we don't need that much then uh, just change this to 90 and since uh, if you have your window press uh, command I and you can check uh, what's the size of it so it's for uh, 6 4 even 480 let's keep it simple so you just here write 64 and uh, 48 that way you have exactly the size of of this thing then uh, you need to apply new uh, material so I choose Lambert and on the color just press this checker and you choose file once you're in the file you need to choose image so now you need to go to your uh, folder where you have those and here they are let's see and after that you need to press use image sequence okay let's see if it's worked with more than a thousand yeah great uh, new version of Maya finally they fixed it I really hated that bug okay so now we have that we have we see the right proportions if you don't like that you always can change it but what's the point anyway now uh, let me freeze transform I just like it that way better alright so now we got that uh, and let, let's just talk about the actual slider 
uh, for that we need to create NURB circle or whatever you like also move it to 90 so it's easier to see and let's I just pressed V to snap it to the top of it and put it a bit higher freeze transform now uh, in order to make it as, as a slider I need to get back to that image so let's go to Lambert, let's go there so we have a file name file2 I already have file1 on this one so this is a file2 so now we are going to need our expressions let's make a new expression uh, source it by expression name let's call it a slider and now we have to type file2 dot and frame offset so it's gonna be frame offset I just know it's gonna be spelled like this uh, then uh, equals now the this let's call it let's call it a slider 2 because I already have slider 1 over there so equals slider 2 dot and we need to move it in direction x so gx and uh, multiply it by let's try 5 for now terminator and uh, create so let's see if it actually works yeah great so now it works and it also works with the slider so every time you wanna match your uh, character with it you see it moves there and if you see something doesn't match you just move it a little bit more and carry on with working it so that's a really fast and easy way to make your reference video inside this so that way you can work like you see it there and you also see it there also as you can see I made this with fire wireframe that way I have no trouble with it and that's it and just make sure you create you place it into extra uh, layers so that way if you choose your uh, character you don't choose it by accident and that's it thank you very much bye